What is up guys, it's your boy Cat Loco. And today I'm gonna show you how to remove uh, LS harness out of 5.3 engine. So first we're gonna start with the uh, fuse box. I'm gonna, you're gonna need a, you're gonna need a 13, a 10, and a seven millimeter. I'm gonna take off these three screws and then we're gonna pop this up. I'm gonna take off this 13. I do have a tripod today, but it's kind of hard to put on this side. This is really hard, makes it easy anyway. The uh, ten millimeter. Take off that. Take off this. Pull that up. Pull that back. Pull that one up. And I might put the camera down for a second to pull this out because I need to do it with two hands. Okay, once you pull that up, um, it's just these two tabs over here. This one here and that one there. The only thing you're concerned about on the fuse is this panel here. So, this main wire right here, that goes to the engine. This is the only thing you care about. You don't really care about this. You don't care about this over here. So, if you look, this green tape right here, so you want to just push that in, slide that one out. Um, same with this one that goes to that harness. And this one you don't have to worry about. So these two right here, I need to take this harness out, take that clip out. And we'll start there. Um, I believe that's another seven millimeter. We're going to take this out and use a screwdriver, pry it open. I'm gonna go ahead and take the fuses out. Um, actually, I'll wait on the fuses. If this doesn't come right out, I'll go ahead and pop the fuses in this area right here. Take that off. That one came off pretty easy. Take the seven off. it screwdriver right in here and there on both sides and it's out so now I got this and let me pull this apart real quick okay. um, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut these to get this out the way uh, another big tool tip these eight and a quarter uh, shears from Harbor Freight are freaking awesome um, I have the smaller version so I bought the larger version for shit like this um, so I can cut through actually let's cut it here not sharp
I'm pretty sure I don't need this, but um, someone may need it. So I'm gonna leave that for now. Uh, take this out. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. So now this is pretty loose. You have this black and blue connector. I got an airplane going over me. Um, I found another connector right here. Just pull it up and take apart. How you doing? You have your uh, little connectors for your PCM, red and blue. You got your fuse wires. Um, I'll probably go ahead and take the fuse box, but so now you have, let me take this off. So you got your PCM, you got your fuse block, and then these connectors that go into the uh, main harness right here. And you can, these little clips. You can use a screwdriver and pop them open. Um, no pro tip, if you're going to be in the ground, Harbor Freight Free Tarp. That's what a pro does it as a junkyard. So you don't get too dirty. You're going to get dirty, but at least you're going to be saturated in, in dirt. Okay, next up, um, I'm going to take this little clip off and then we're going to take the cover off. Cover, you're going to need an 8 millimeter socket put on my 14-4 uh, snap-on you can use whatever you have it's just quick quick and easy I cover it to the side or I need another one I might keep it or stash it for the next half off and take these off uh, that's 10 mil that's eight. So next step, I'm going to take off the uh, throttle linkage, actually throttle cable bracket right here. This is going to be 3 8 and then two bolts back there is going to be 2 tens. It's just because I'm following the cable, I cut this right here and that's in the way. So once I take that off, I'll go ahead and take this off so I can follow the cable um, back there. I believe it goes down, but yeah. Let's check it out. Just gotta take this throttle cable out so you just turn it left and screw it all the way out it's kind of hard so I mean uh, you might want to wear gloves this is cutting into me just like this Okay, once you got, you twist this one out. You just go here, and to get this loose, you have to uh, use a screwdriver, open this up, pull it down, and lift it up. Um, I need two hands, so I need to put the camera down for a second. So that's what I had to do. I had to. 
bend that a little bit and then pull it out. Most people just say get it and just cut this. But I'm gonna keep most of it intact. This stuff here is always gone. So I'm probably gonna grab those because I don't have these sensors on mine. Okay. Screw. Okay, so it's hiding uh, behind the cables. So now I think we're going to take off the intake. Um, okay, so now all of that's off. Uh, the harness goes towards the back. I think I'm going to come back around the front and take all these connections off here. And then um, possibly take off the intake. Uh, it might be easier to take the intake. But yeah. Okay, so looking at the harness, I think we're going to do this by where it branches out. So, starting with these bunch of wires here, they snake down underneath the uh, power saving pump. We're going to do that later. This one here goes into your uh, alternator. You just pull that back, pull out. Over here, just pull out. And pull up on the uh, throttle body. Same thing, pull up, pull up. We got another one down here. Just pop it out. So now this one's free. And then on this other side, so this is the one that goes down. This one just connects into your coil packs. Same thing, pull up, pull out. Or, yeah, pull out, pull up. Yeah, coil pack, uh, these wires you don't need to touch on any of the eight, four on each side. But this is out. You got this one that runs right there, which I can't see fully. I can touch it, but I can't pull it out. So we're going to do that in a second. Same as these two up here, they branch out and go in the back. So I think for me, I'm going to take off this coil pack or um, an intake just so I can get to everything that I need to because I'm going to take the intake off anyway to get the harness when it comes from the transmission it'll be easier right? if I take this and take off I hit you back. what's up guys it's your boy loco I actually had to stop filming the uh camera actually overheated or the phone it said that the phone was too hot and I had to turn it off so the only thing you miss is me taking off the intake and these cables off the injectors so how these work is you just pull it down and then push that up. Now I take a screwdriver and I push this up under it and these pop off. Uh, you got three on this side and then you got three on that side um, over here. And then I took this off the back or the top rear of the um, intake I just popped in. So now you can really see the harness. You can see this harness there. You guys see that connector there? This pops up. I got a connector here. 
this is what a purple one looks like. Yep. So this one right here, this one right there. So, I think I got one more over there and then that goes down to the trans. I think that's a ground. But yeah, let me cut you back in a sec once I take that ground cable and I follow that one down. <laughs> 